Aflatoxins are produced by molds that infest crops. Cattle can also eat moldy crops and the aflatoxins will pass to their milk. Aflatoxins are not destroyed by heat treatments, such as pasteurization. They are invisible, odorless and tasteless, so it's not possible for a consumer to know if the food has aflatoxins. Aflatoxin can lead to death if high amounts are consumed, and they are major causes of liver cancer. An evidence of a link between aflatoxin and poor child growth is also mounting. There are also economic costs. Animals which consume aflatoxins produce less, which means less food products on the market and less income for the farmers. The project funded by the Finnish Ministry of Foreign Affairs is working on aflatoxins in Kenya along with a team of scientists from ILRI, IFPRI, University of Nairobi, SCDI VOCA and MTT. We are carrying out surveys to understand how people are exposed to aflatoxins and the consequences. We are also studying how to influence their behavior. We have found 41% of milk collected from rural households in four agroecological zones in Kenya is contaminated with aflatoxin M1 beyond the limits of detection. Of these, 22% had levels beyond the recommended limit of 50 parts per trillion by FAO WHO. In total, 200 milk samples were collected and analyzed from 286 households surveyed. By looking at the consumption of different foods, we can estimate risks and also associate it with nutritional status of children. We have carried out studies on how much consumers are willing to pay for safe milk. We are also estimating the actual health and economic costs to farmers and society caused by aflatoxins. that knowledge, practices and attitudes differ with gender and economic status and solutions must account for this. With farmers, we are testing new ways of preserving maize. We have found that most of the farmers we've talked to have heard of aflatoxins and that most follow at least some of the recommended post-harvest practices. However, the technologies currently available to farmers are not very effective. This year will offer farmers access to a mobile maize dryer. It can be driven right up to the farm so that the maize can be dried on site. We will compare the effectiveness of this dryer with the use of current available best practices by comparing aflatoxin levels in stored maize. We are aiming to develop models that can make the food system safer for the benefit of all Kenyans. We also want to find out how much farmers are willing to pay to better dry the maize using the mobile dryer and if this can be a self-sustaining business. This can work if farmers can get a higher price for safer maize. The growth of the mold and its toxin production depends on climate. In Finland, the Meteorological Institute provides better data-based warnings about mycotoxins to cereal farmers. We are developing at present similar risk prediction system in Kenya and will test its functionality. We know that some natural milk proteins and lactic acid bacteria can prevent the growth of molds and inactivate aflatoxins. We are testing the potential of these proteins and bacteria as a novel means to reduce the aflatoxin risk in the food feed chain.